welcome to the Mass celebrating the Ascension of the Lord. As one community, whether at home, in residential care, a hospital or another place, let us join together as we celebrate this Mass. Our celebrant today is Father Patrice. We begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Spirit be with you all. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ into heaven. And in this solemnity, Jesus is reminding of us and asking us to wait for the Holy Spirit as he told the apostles and with these days of the novena. And also Jesus is commissioning us for the mission of uh, preaching the kingdom of God when he told his disciples to go and make all the nations to be his disciples and we baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So together as a community in these days after the ascension till next Sunday where we will celebrate the solemnity of the Pentecost, we are asking the Lord to fill our hearts with his spirit by giving us the fullness of the spirit. So we pray for one another and especially of these days of the novena where we have a, an opportunity to pray and to meditate and asking for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Having in mind that Jesus has trusted us by giving us the church, the body of Christ, the mission of proclaiming God's kingdom, we, be, we begin our celebration by asking God to forgive us. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the mighty God and the Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Christ have mercy. You have commissioned us to make all the nations to be your disciples. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who believe that your only begotten Son, our Redeemer, ascended today to the heavens, may in spirit dwell already in the heavenly realms, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. The first reading today is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In my earlier works, Theophilus, I dealt with everything Jesus had done and taught from the beginning until the day he gave his instructions to the apostles he had chosen through the Holy Spirit and was taken up to heaven. He had shown himself alive to them after his passion by many demonstrations for 40 days he had continued to appear to them and tell them about the kingdom of God. When he had been at table with them, he had told them not to leave Jerusalem, 
but to wait for what the Father had promised. It is, he had said, what you had heard me speak about. John baptised with water, but you, not many days from now, will be baptised with the Holy Spirit. Now having met together, they asked him, Lord, has the time come? Are you going to restore the kingdom of Israel? He replied, It's not for you to know times or dates that the Father has decided by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and then you will be my witnesses, not only in Jerusalem, but throughout Judea and Samaria, and indeed to the ends of the earth. As he said this, he was lifted up while they looked on, and a cloud took him from their sight. They were still staring into the sky when suddenly two men in white were standing near them, and they said, Why are you men from Galilee standing here looking into the sky? Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, this same Jesus will come back in the same way as you have seen him go there. The word of the Lord. The response today is God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All peoples, clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, we must fear, great King over all the earth. God goes up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. Sing praise for God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God is King of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is King over the nations. God reigns on God's holy throne. The second reading is a reading from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians. May the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and perception of what is revealed to bring you to full knowledge of him. May he enlighten the eyes of your mind so that you can see what hope his call holds for you, what rich glories he has promised the saints will inherit and how infinitely great is the power that he has exercised for us believers. This you can tell from the strength of his power at work in Christ, when he used it to raise him from the dead and to make him sit at the right hand in heaven, far above sovereignty, authority, power or domination, or any other name that can be named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. He has put all things under his feet and made him as the ruler of everything, the head of the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills the whole creation. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Go and teach all people my gospel. I am with you always until the end of the world. Alleluia. And the Lord be with you. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The eleven disciples set out for Galilee to the mountain where Jesus has arranged to meet them. When they saw him, they fell down before him, though some hesitated. Jesus came up and spoke to them. He said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore, make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teach them to observe all the commands I gave you. 
and know that I am with you always, yes, to the end of time. The gospel, the good news of our salvation. Dear brothers and sisters, in our celebration today of the solemnity of the ascension of Jesus, we celebrate Jesus fulfilling his earthly mission and returning back to the Father according to God's will. And uh, after fulfilling the mission, Jesus handed the same mission to his disciples, the apostles, when he told them, as the Father handed kingdom unto me, therefore I handed the kingdom unto you. So the kingdom has been given to the body of Christ, to the church, that God has entrusted us with the same mission. And after his mission, Jesus declared openly that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, I have commissioned you to carry on the mission of salvation, preaching the good news of God's kingdom. But before commissioning them, Jesus commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, to wait for the promise of God, that is the Holy Spirit. We are aware of the beginning of the mission of Jesus in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, that before Jesus began his mission, he was filled with the Holy Spirit when he began the mission. And in the same way, he commissioned his disciples to wait the promise of God, the Spirit of the truth, that in all that they do in their mission, they may be guided by the Holy Spirit. And uh, at the end of the gospel, Jesus told them that remember, I am with you till the end of time. Jesus being ascended into heaven does not mean that he went for a holiday. He sent them the advocate from the Father, the Holy Spirit, whom Jesus said, when the Spirit of truth will be coming, he will teach you everything that I have commanded you. And we as a community, the believers, the church has given us these nine days in the same way as the apostles did to wait for the promise of God. And it's a moment for us for our renewal with the Holy Spirit in our mission and taking into consideration the challenges that we have been going through with the pandemic, with fear, with worry, and even some who have lost their job and even as a community due to pandemic we are unable to meet as a community together to break the word and to share the Eucharist, that in the same way that the Holy Spirit has been promised to be given unto us. So we bring all our challenges before the Lord and uh, asking for the gift of the Spirit. We are aware that from Friday we began the novena, the nine days to have a reflection about the Holy Spirit and renewing our relationship with the Holy Spirit. And we are asking as a community that we may continue with the same spirit, asking for that gift, the spirit that may renew us. And once we begin to meet as a community, we may have a new strength of coming together as a community. In our second reading today, we have Paul who was praying to the for the community of the Ephesians, those who have believed in Christ. And uh, Paul had a very powerful prayer, and he asked the Lord to give the believers the revelation of the Spirit in comprehension of God's will, that the Father of glory 
the God of our Lord Jesus Christ may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of God's will. And we are asking that, especially with the mission that Jesus has given us as the believers whom we have been baptized in the name of Jesus, the mission of preaching the kingdom of God, baptizing them and teaching them to observe all that Jesus has commanded. And we know that in our own power, in our own ability, it's impossible to carry that mission. As Jesus was filled by the, with the Holy Spirit, in the same way, we too as a community, we need that inspiration of the Spirit, the strength of the Spirit, the power of the Spirit that help us in our transformation, and that through us, with that transformation, we are able to transform others. So we join together at this time for our prayer, especially when we have this time of solitude, time of meditation in our families and at home, asking the gift of the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, to be with us. Each and every one of us has a mission. Jesus has entrusted that mission to a human person. God had faith in us, and still up to this moment, God is still believing in us that we are able. And in accordance with God's will, Jesus did the same. He handed the mission to the human person, the mission of preaching the message of salvation, the good news for everyone. So we are asking for that gift that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit, that we may have the wisdom of God and the spiritual understanding. And especially in our present time where we are experiencing challenging in our lives, this difficult time is the time that we need the Holy Spirit to be with us, the Holy Spirit to strengthen us, the Holy Spirit to open our hearts, and the Holy Spirit to open our minds and to fill us with his revelation. So we continue praying for one another and uh, to ask the power of the Spirit in our mission that our words may be transformed to the words of life. As we celebrate the ascension of the Lord, now together we profess our faith as Jesus commanded us. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under an Apostles Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He ascended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Now together as a community and as a family, we share together our prayers and especially at this time when we are asking for the gift of the Holy Spirit and asking God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, to give us as a community the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation. The response today is, Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, that on the fifth anniversary of Laudato Si, he continues to inspire and lead the people of God towards a more inclusive appreciation of the world and all her resources. Risen Lord, hear us. For the leaders of governments around the world, that they guide their governments to take a global view of issues such as poverty, slavery 
and unjust incarceration to create a world where money and resources are shared for the benefit of all. Risen Lord, hear us. For all who live with fear or uncertainty, that they may find peace and a sense of safety by calling on the Holy Spirit who accompanies them each day. Risen Lord, hear us. For volunteers, that the gift of time so generously offered in so many ways within the parish and broader community will be appreciated by those whom they serve and bring a sense of satisfaction to each volunteer. Risen Lord, hear us. We pray for those who are sick and those who have asked for our prayers. For those whom God has called from this life and for those whose anniversaries occur at this time. Risen Lord, hear us. We may add our prayers and especially as God has promised us the gift of the Holy Spirit, we are asking that he may give us the fullness of his spirit, especially at this challenging time. As he said, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit come upon you. We are asking him to fill us with the power the power that will enable us to live a life that is worthy and pleasing to God, the power that will enable us to have the fruit of the Spirit in our day to day. We, with this and all that have remained at the bottom of our hearts, we ask them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual dream. With a humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash me from all my iniquities and cleanse me from all my sins. We pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all this holy church. We offer you sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with pastor joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together, an ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night when he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, said the blessings and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. We proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, as we look forward for his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and be filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, most says, with all the blessed apostles and saints who have pleased you through the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you with your Son, Jesus Christ. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, O Lord, we pray, advance the peace and salvation to all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, Gregory Apostolic Administrator, Patrick our new bishop, the order of bishop, the clergy, and all entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously on the prayers of this family gathered before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are passing to you. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy the fullness of your life in glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom you bestow on the world that all is good. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Dear brothers and sisters, following the command of Jesus, and especially at this day of the solemnity of ascension, when he told his disciples to remain in Jerusalem till they received the promise of God the Holy Spirit, we pray together in faith in asking God to fill us with his Holy Spirit in the ways that our Savior taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth that is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and in unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. And the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Together as a family of God, as a community, we can share the peace of Christ whenever we are at our home. Peace be with you. Together we proclaim, Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited into his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Before our final prayer, as the community of uh, Glen Osmond and Parkside, we have been preparing a short reflection for the nine days of Novena, and we're asking as a community that we may go through our website of our parish, and uh, we may have those reflections that may help us and guide us to the day of Pentecost. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate the div divine mysteries, grant we pray that Christians' hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless and protect us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Remain in the peace of Christ.